This is one of the fires threatening Jasper. Just a few minutes ago, we could see flames off to the side here on the mountain. Thick smoke and charred grass right up to Highway 16. Off in the distance, a helicopter is bucketing water. This is about 10 kilometers east of town, a town that is now mostly empty. Officials say about 10,000 residents and workers and 15,000 visitors fled the fire Monday night. There are still some people inside the town not leaving yet, and RCMP are encouraging them to leave. With the evolving situations, the weather that we've had over the last couple of weeks and that we're continuing to have, um, things can turn quite quickly and, you know, the shift in, in, in wind. And people with small kids already in bed, but senior people and, and others who are, might be unfamiliar with our community. I credit all of them for the patience they showed, for the support they offered to each other in ensuring a safe and orderly evacuation. And all of that heightened, of course, by the anxiety that comes with the uncertainty of, of simply not knowing. Helicopter resources are currently bucketing high priority ta ta targets and evacuating people in the backcountry. If you have a way of contacting those in the backcountry, they should travel to reach a trailhead and are directed to evacuate and check in with Parks Canada Dispatch. We're here because RCMP were intending to give reporters a tour of the town, but the fire flared up on the side of the highway as we were headed through here, so this is as far as we can go. The fire, officials say, was started by lightning. The good news, we were told this morning that no injuries have been reported in the evacuation and no buildings have yet burned down. The weather is also expected to help out. Rain and cooler temperatures are in the forecast for the coming days. It's still not clear when people can return home. Reporting from near Jasper, Sean Amato, City News.